Are you in the market for a small, cute, battery-powered mixer? Well, stick around, because today we are taking a first look at the Bastel Dude. So welcome to another Bow Beats episode and on this channel we check out synthesizers, we check out music production gear and today we are checking out the dude from Basel. This is a cute small form factor mixer that is battery powered but before we talk some more about it I just want to do a quick little announcement. If you didn't know we actually have a new Patreon forum over on simplysynth.com. You can join it if you want to support the channel. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So let's get into the dude. I just love the name. And that's something with Bastel. You know, they, they make really special products. They have a, a ton of cool stuff. I'll of course leave a link to Bastel in the description. And they sent me this for review. So without further ado, what is the dude? So this mixer has five mono inputs and an output. And the output, it's not stereo since the sources aren't stereo, but it does split to left and right. So you can use it with headphones or you can use a stereo splitter to get two channels out of the output. And as you can see, they are mini jacks. There is also no panning. So if you feed a left and right signal into it, it'll still be considered two mono channels. So that's important to note. So even, even if you use something like a Volca or something like a pocket operator, you have to consider the fact that uh, some of them are stereo and this is a mono mixer. But regardless, it's a very well sounding mixer and I hope to do in a full review or in a more of a test video, I'll show you that the noise level is very low. And if we go over it here, you have a little power button up here. And when that's pressed in, you can also see that the channels here are activated. So you basically mute the channels here if you want to. So now they are activated here with the little lights. And you also have the volume gain for each channel. And it says plus 20 dB. So, you know, there's the possibility to amplify by 20 dB. And there's also black and, and, and transparent markings here that sort of shows you the safe zone and when you go above the safe zone, what happens is that you start to saturate the sound. And it does sound quite interesting when you do it. So it does add character. On the back here, you can also power the unit with a 9 to 12 volts DC adapter. I have no clue what that actually means because I'm really bad at electronics or at least electricity. But I power it with four AA batteries, rechargeable. Now using rechargeable batteries will impact, if I'm not mistaken, the headroom uh, that is possible to have on this mixer. But so far it seems to work just fine with rechargeable batteries. <music> So the reason I thought the dude was really cool is because it's it's such a small. You can you can see how small it is. I I have tiny hands and you should be able to see how ex extremely small it is. It's such a small lightweight unit that you can use. For example, I could use it with uh, say the sub 37 and the mother 32 because they are mono, so that will make sense to use them with this mixer. But who is a five channel mono mixer for? Well, I think you first have to look at it like this. It's a battery powered, super small form factor, pretty inexpensive mixer that you can bring with you. So for example, uh, when I hook stuff up to do video work or I hook stuff up just to do a little jam, I find this invaluable to have five channels with batteries in this small form factor, super easy to hook up. I use TS to mini jack uh, cables to do that. So from, from the bigger jacks to small jacks. Now, of course, some sources like the circuits, um, the Matrix Brute, for example, which is stereo or some of the Electron stuff won't make as much sense driving into the dude 
But then again, you might find yourself in situations where you don't really want a more cumbersome uh, mixer that you need to power with uh, a DC or AC unit. And then you might say, well, okay, I'll use the circuit in mono instead, just feeding them into this little mixer. I think that will work for a live setting, for example. So just having this mixer for portability reasons makes a lot of sense. I will show you how it sounds in a different video. And if you have questions about it, please leave them down below. This is just a little first look at the dude from Bastel. So far, I think it's a really interesting product and I will get back to this product in more of a full review in order to test it out and show you the kind of sound quality that you can get out of it. I want to feed different things into it and, and, and show it. But so far, I've just tested it a little bit and I need to test it some more. So this was just a first look at Dude from Bastel. If you enjoyed the video, hit that little thumbs up button, consider subscribing or you can become a patron over on patreon.com slash bowbeats. And if you do, you get access to the simplysynth.com forum, which is our new hangout place where we discuss synths, music production, and just have a good time. So please consider becoming a patron. And I hope you have a super nice day. Thank you so much for being here and watching.